When I find myself in native forest, I'm hurled like 500, a thousand years into the past. And I tell people to pause and recognize that you're entering into a very special realm. Let your intentions be felt and wait for a response. The word malama means to care for. Many of the plants and animals that grow here are found nowhere else on earth, and if we lose them here, we lose them everywhere. Ohi'a lehua is the dominant tree. It is absolutely essential to the life of many, many of the species that live in the forests up there. So our native forests are being flooded out by non-native species, and you can do something about it. Pu'u Ohi'a, the hill that we're on, was once covered with Ohi'a forest. And then the bamboo moved in and pretty much crowded everything else out. When you look at an Ohi'a tree surrounded by bamboo, you notice that all of the bamboo around it, there's not a single living thing growing there. But when you break through that bamboo into the richness of the native Hawaiian forest, the difference is palpable. Suddenly you're surrounded by so many different textures of leaves and flowers and the idea of richness and balance immediately settles upon you. Malama is an important part of our relationship with the Aina, with the land. Malama, in the sense of reforestation, is restoring the health of the native ecosystems of these islands. Ah, oh, we're coming up to my favorite spot of this trail, where every single tree above us is native. So when you are restoring the biology of a place, you are restoring the culture of a place. You're doing a good thing. In Hawaiian thought, every living thing is a physical manifestation of your ancestors and of the Hawaiian gods. The more that you know about those kinds of connections, the more you realize that what you're doing is rebuilding a community in which you are a part. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama.